kami. Sinong nang lalangrab? First is when Congressman Arnie Tavis would go to the contested piece of land in Pamplona. May mga Tavis na naglalangrab, nag-aargabiado. On September 9, 2020, I repeat, that was also the same year when land grabbing problem happened in our town and province. Sinabi ng papa mo, na yes. siya ay mamatay. Yes po. Mamatay sa kanya ay sino? Si Colonel Tolentino po. Police Colonel Crisaleo Tolentino is known as the providers of private armed groups, guns for hires, and have access of the PNP power and connection of Tukoy and Tevez. Hindi po yan totoo, sir. Madali lang po sabihin, sir. Uh, yun siguro yung ano niya, sir, imagination nila na posibleng ganon. Pero hindi po totoo yan, sir. You're also being linked to the killing of Bongbong. Uh, yun nga, sir. Uh, sir, this. Hindi nga totoo yan, sir. Uh, Next, uh, Bernit uh, Divina Gracia. Tang tanggalan na siguro para madungog ka. Thank you for the recognition, Mr. Chair. Um, allow me to narrate some salient um, happenings with regards to the case of my dad. So, good afternoon once again. Your dad is? Uh, Kent Divina Gracia, sir. Ayan yung retired police na... Hindi po, sir. Iba pa? Iba? Iba po. Iba pong kaso yung sa akin po. Sino? Sino yung tatay mo? Si Bong, Kent Bongbong Divinagracia po. A former vice mayor and several times councilor in our once peaceful town of Pamplona, province of Negros Oriental po. Pamplona? Pamplona po. Kailan siya pinatay? Uh, September 9, 2020. 2020? Yes po. Yes, Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, the members of the committee, and to the rest of the senators. Thank you so much for allowing us to express these long overdue sentiments of ours. I am Dernath Divinagrasha, the daughter of Kent Bongbong Divinagrasha, who at that time was pronounced as the running mate of Mayor Janis Digamo for the 2022 elections. He became a vice mayor and several times councillor in our once peaceful town of Pamplona, province of Negros Oriental. To share that painful and heartbreaking experience of me and my mom, here's what happened. On September 9, 2020, after bringing aid and services together with the mayor and their team in the hinterlands, bali yung mga sitio po sa bayan namin sa Pamplona, medyo malayo-layo po talaga yung lakad nila sa araw na iyon. Who would have thought that when he reaches home, he was shot dead in front of our house. Napakabastos po talaga nila sa harapan ng bahay po namin. But before that, my dad is concerned because there are several incidents and harassment and intimidation transpired. First is when Congressman Arnie Tavis would go to the contested piece of land in Pamplona bringing armed men and guards. Totoo po yun. Kasi may mga... Uh, uh, yung, uh, yung year na namatay yung papa ko, that was 2020. And yun din po yung kasagsagan ng mga kaso ng land grabbing sa Negros Oriental. More particularly, in Sitio Nui Bay, Barangay San Isidro, Pamplona, Negros Oriental. Allow me to continue. Alam mo yun muna natin. When you say land grabbing, land grabbing. sinong nang lalang grab? Uh, sa pagkakaalam ko po talaga, may mga... Uh, Na-learn ko lang po ito sa pag... Gusto ko talagang makamit yung hustisya ng papa ko. Yeah, yeah. So, tinuunan ko talaga ng pansin. So, may mga... May mga... Teves na... Naglalandgrab, nag-aargabiado sa mga taga... Uh, San Isidro po. Tapos concern yung papa ko kasi um, for 16 years, he is serving Pamplona po. Modesty aside po, kaya po na papa ko na mag... Kaya po na papa ko na mag-run for election kahit wala kaming pera po. Kahit wala kaming ibinibigay sa tao po. Kasi in return so, po... Laruin natin, uh, yes, laruin natin, may mga kaso na land grabbing sa Pamplona na... na Hin ayaw ng papa mo. Mangyari, parang ganun. Hindi, uh, hindi yung pa, tatay mo ang victim ng land grabbing. Wala kayong lupa na nilang grab from you. 
Wala po. Tumutulong po Tumutulong siya. Tumutulong siya sa mga biktima okay. ng land grabbing. Yes po. Okay. Thank okay. you. Continue. And there are also warnings from the chief of police that time um, to the barangay captains, not necessarily to my dad and the rest of um, the public servants there, but to the barangay captains, I believe because of an intelligent report. What is more sketchy is that in the very morning of August 28, 2020, tandang tanda ko po, kasi um, we are a family of three. So, um, palagi po kaming nag, ano, palagi po kaming may conversation ng papa ko. Talaga, kasi ako, lamang, ako lang naman yung nag-iisang anak. So, what is more sketchy is that in the very morning of August 28, 2020, he told us and many others about how he confronted the gasoline manager in the person of Jim Boy Cadelinia who accompanied the group of congressman Arnie Tevez to the contested land. Nakita po sila doon at nagtaka ang tatay ko kung bakit yung tauhan ng konsihal sa aming bayan ay nandun. ba? When he told us, and when he told us and narrate the conversation, it goes this way. In Bisaya po, naaday ka dong, nandito ka pala, the boy replied, Oo no, gisugo ra ko. Opo, inutusan lang ako. Kadilinya is the manager of the gasoline station owned by former councilor and defeated vice mayoralty candidate Maria Luz Montesa Tolentino and was taking pictures of everyone present during the DENR survey and verification to its ownership. Councilor Tolentino bolted from the camp of Governor and Mayor Janice Digamo and transferred political party to the side of Congressman Arnie Tevez because it was known to many po that she had the political ambition to go against my father as Vice Mayor. I am not accusing anyone of anything. But for as long as up to this day, I can still clearly recall the words of my late father as he shared to us that someone is going to kill him. Imagine po, hindi lang po ako ang, hindi lang po ako ang sinasabihan ng tatay ko. Si La Mayor, yung aide ni Mayor, at yung ibang kasamahan niya doon sa land grabbing, sinasabihan niya na ipapatay siya ni Tolentino. There are affidavits of people that will justify my claims here, uh, Mr. Chair, na napagsabihan ng tatay ko at marami kami. Again and again, hindi lang kami ng mama ko ang sinabihan niya, kundi pati si Mayor at kanyang assistant at iba pang mga katrabaho niya. These words were uttered by my dad and now he is dead. He is dead. I couldn't dare to not believe it because it happened at napas lang siya on September 9, 2020. I repeat, that was also the same year when land grabbing problem happened in our town and province. Uh, to conclude my statement, Mr. Chair, may our hopes of granting justice to us and the people of Negros Oriental with the help of our honorable senators and the national government agencies will have its reality soon. That is all in my end, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh Yung Tolentino na sinasabi mo, nasaan siya ngayon? Yung Tolentino po, uh, natalo siya sa, sa natalo siya as vice mayor uh, in, the res, in the recent election po. Siya yung, uh, yung papa ko kasi po na pronounce as vice mayor, as the running mate for Mayor Janice. And it is common knowledge sa aming bayan po na Yung si Maria Luz Victoria Tolentino, yung kakalaban sa kanya. Yun po. Sinabi ng papa mo na yes. siya ay mamatay. Yes po. Mamatay sa kanya ay sino? Si Colonel Tolentino po. Colonel? Yes po. Si, bakit may Colonel na ngayon? Ah, kanina? Yung... Vice Mayor. Ano ba? Si Colonel Tolentino po, siya po yung asawa ng Maria Luz Victoria Tolentino po. 
Ah, okay, okay. Uh, the husband, the husband of po, the sorry. defeated vice mayor Tolentino is a certain Colonel Tolentino. Army, police, o anong... Police. Police. Po. Sasya sa'yo ngayon? Yun po ang hindi ko alam po. Okay, sige. You know what po, coming here is a very hard decision but kasi po nag-aaral pa po ako and I am not certain um, kung ano ang mangyari the day after today po. But this is the time or this is our chance po. Matagal po. Uh, yung kaso na papa ko po, going three years na po, matagal na po namin pinag-pray na magkaroon kami ng um, avenue for us to vent out, for us to raise our sentiments po. And we are really grateful that today, we are heard, we are seen, and we are accommodated po. And we are really grateful for that po. Um, we are not certain the day after today po, but again po, um, no, kang, kang mag-isip na tao. Uh, I'm just saying this po. Dito mga polis natin, kung kailangan mo ng security, uh, bigyan nyo security to. Katakot daw siyang... Uh, hindi po ako natatakot. For, ah, ay, Mr. Chair. Yeah, yeah. Hindi po ako natatakot po. Ang sa akin lang po, yung case na papa ko po, na forward na daw sa CIDG po. And until now po, wala po kaming... Um, fal wala po wala man lang nagpa-follow up po kasi ang alam lang namin po dun sa case investigator lang yung direct contact namin po hindi ko po alam kung saan kami magpa-follow up sa CIDG po so bali po wala kaming um, contact person kung sino ma-follow up namin sa case ng tatay ko po okay uh, director uh, karama yung hinahanap ni yung officer actually uh, sir yan ang probisa director ngayon ng Aklan Special Director na Aklan. Yes, sir. Ngayon, sir, actually, sir, pinaparilip na namin yan. Nataon lang, sir, na medyo, ano, nag-request uh, yung governor na, na ma-retain. Pero, sir, sa totoo lang, naghanap kami ng sapat na ebidensya para ma ma-pin down talaga yung ano na yan. So, may effort po kami yan, sir, yung SITG po, sir. Meron po. You want to say something? Yes po, uh, Mr. Chair. Kasi po sa palagay ko po, yung SITG po, pabagal-bagal po at paikot-ikot. Alam naman natin po na Colonel yun po, maraming mga kaibigan at maraming mga parang gano'n na din, mga cover-ups po. So, um, ang sa akin lang po is, yung yung asawa niya po, may video po na nag-claim na si Jimboy Cadilinia, yung, yung um, as what I have mentioned earlier, the name Jimboy Cadilinia is the manager of their gasoline station. So, coincidence ba po na nagkita sila doon sa hidwaan ng, sa hidwaan ng, ano, ng lupa na nandun din yung mga, na, na nandun din si Congressman Arnie Tevez at yung kanyang mga um, armed men. So, coincidence ba yun? di ba Tapos, yung uh, sige lang anyway nandito na yung CITG nila uh, General Karamat you, you, you provide uh, contact person kay Bernet de Binagracia para mag-update sa kaso at sabi mo bilisan ang kaso kasi yung nga sinasabi nila isang kernel na ngayon nakapisto sa PD ng ng Aklan o oh, uh, nandun ngayon sa Aklan uh, Sabihin naman nila, nagko-cover up kayo dyan pag uh, hindi ninyo ito ma-resolve ma itong kaso na ito. Diyan, uh, listo mo. Mula yung CPNP mo. So, you are now the acting CPNP for this uh, hearing uh, purposes only. You are the... I'm rep only the representative of the CPNP, sir. Okay. Pero uh, kung ang guidance mo, sir, eh, up to ito, Well, I will uh, immediately uh, relieve P.D. Uh, Aklan. Well, his, his name is uh, being... Po, in, kasi meron uh, ano, sir, uh, for investigation purpose. Uh, ganito, ha? Yes, sir. Alam nyo yan. Meron kayong administrative uh, roles tungkol dyan. So you do your thing. I am not directing you because I am not a member of your chain of command. I am here to advise you and to require compliance from you. Yun lang sa akin. You know what to do. You are a member yes, of the chain of command. Not the same